Today marks 10 years since the fertilizer plant caught fire and exploded in the town of West. 15 people were killed, 12 of them first responders. And the town was changed forever. And now there are lessons to be learned about what caused the explosion. Chris Sadegui is live with more. So Chris, experts say this could happen again. Yeah, Kara, I was there 10 years ago that night in west of the explosion. I was also at the Texas Capitol when the lawmakers were discussing how to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. Now, a decade later, we've spoken to an expert who says no significant changes have been made. The town of West did hold a memorial on Saturday night to remember the 15 lives lost when 30 tons of ammonium nitrate exploded at the West Fertilizer Company plant. A fire at the building caused the explosion, but the bigger concern in the weeks and months that followed was how potentially devastating materials like ammonium nitrate are regulated and stored. In the investigations that came, poor storage policies were recognized. But Dr. Vito Babraskis is a scientist and consultant who's an expert in the field of fire and explosions. And he studied what happened in West. He says across the country, this is still a problem. Large amounts of combustible products being inadequately, inadequately protected inside buildings. And despite that tragedy in West, Little was done to change or add oversight to prevent such explosions from happening again. It's a problem that's a very widespread way beyond uh, the state of Texas. And the issue is the same. The basic issue is that that's, uh, the codes are not adequate to cope with that. You really need to cope on the uh, federal level. Babraskis believes the way to prevent this from ever happening again is to require those combustible materials be taken out of buildings, moved to an area where they can be safely stored and where an explosion would not cause the type of devastation that we saw in West. Kara, back to you. Well, tonight we are going to return to West to revisit survivors like Misty Lambert. She remembers seeing the fire from her home. Then the explosion sent glass and debris right at her. I looked out the window one last time and I was like, can you feel that heat? And I had my arm up and I'll look back and it literally blew up in my face. Well, her powerful story and how she's doing today, tonight on WFAA News at 10.